So I'm going to do a bit of a demo just to learn how we use straighteners as a curling tool as well, which is quite handy if you're ever in a situation where you don't have a wand or a tong. So I'm going to do it on fairly long hair. And I'm just going to take a section at the bottom, about a centimetre across the back. So for ease, I'm going to split the back into half and then take my section across the bottom. And by doing this, it gives me two sections to work with and handle while I'm working through the hair, rather than having it all in one hand. Okay, so I've taken the section following her middle parting in this case, right down the middle, and then about a centimetre from the hairline. Right, so I've turned my straighteners on. So rather than straightening where I'd normally use a comb, in this case, I'm just going to make sure there's no knots with my hands, make sure it's all smooth. I've put heat protection on her already, sprayed it in and dried it through. So make sure you do use heat protection and that's going to protect the hair. So I'm going to take a section about an inch by that centimetre. And I'm going to clamp it in at the root and just twist my straightener around twice and then pull that through. And then move it slowly through the ends. So I'm just going to do one on this side as well, so that you can see. So I take a small section, smooth it through with my hands, get rid of the knots, Clamp my straighteners, twist, wrap it round, and then pull. Just be aware of client comfort during this because sometimes it can tug. Make sure you run it all the way through to the ends and that will give you that nice curl. Okay. If I wanted the curl slightly softer or bigger curls, I could take a bigger section. And if I take a bigger section, it's going to make a bigger curl or a looser curl. Okay, so you can see that one in the middle is much, much softer because it is a wider section. So you can do different types of curls with the straighteners. You don't have to just limit yourself to one. I'm just going to show you again. Smooth it through, clamp, twist, and then pull. Okay. Okay. So the smaller sections you take, the more of a defined curl you're going to get. If you take bigger sections, you get a softer curl. Okay, and you can continue that up through the hair. And that's how you create those curls with your straighteners. What you also can do is change the direction that you're twisting, which I'll do here for you to see. So these curls, you can see, are going that way. So all I'm going to do is twist it the opposite way. So clamp it in, but I'm going to twist it upwards this time. And then pull it through. And by doing so, I get a curl going the opposite direction. And what would be the, the best way to do that throughout the head is to do one going one way 
and one go in the other if you wanted a more natural result. So I've done those two going opposite ways. Okay, so there's a very quick demo of how you can achieve different types of curls just by using hair straighteners.